What's up, YouTube? Uh, here we are, another gift, another beautiful day in paradise. Um, today, I am on a mission to finish that light that I was doing in Northfield, and then I'm gonna get the welding stuff and meet up with Ali, the guy who gave me the welder in the beginning, and see if we can get this thing up and running, because I don't know much about it myself. And then he can maybe show me a few things so I can start getting in there and start welding. But uh, also he can tell me what I need to buy and what I don't need to buy so I don't waste money. So that's the mission for today and possibly some scrapping, but not certain of that yet. And yeah, just another beautiful day. It's almost 60 degrees out, 57, 56. And uh, truly blessed to just be alive on another fucking Awesome ride, boys. Another ride. So, quick trash pile like this. You always got to check it out. Because my mom likes some of these uh, ornaments. I don't know which ones she likes. I'll just take them all and then she can check it out. But uh, even if you get one good one out of the bunch, you're, uh, you're killing it. Some wires in here, some more ornaments. It's an old bed. It's a little mini, mini piece of scrap right here. Some more of that scrap life. Stove top. Stainless, I think. There's some paints in here. A can of spray paint. That's nah, done. Some more scrap. I don't want to deal with that. It's probably from like lead paint and shit. So fuck that. But yeah, we scored some scrap and a bunch of ornaments that my mom might want. So always keep the eye out when you're going around town. Uh, if you're going from like job to job or if you're going from like your house to like visit a friend or to your parents' house. So always keep those feelers out because you never know when you're gonna hit a jackpot. And when you do, you gotta be on it because other people are gonna be on it. But yeah, that's also a good, I live like the American dream here, true freedom, because I can show up to this job anytime I want. So if I found like a whole, whole, whole pile of scrap, a full load, I could honestly just take it now and then just go to the job after. So set your life up so that you can do what you want. And that's how you find like the most joy, I think. Even if you're not making that much, like a, as much money as you might be at a real job, you're at least doing what you want. Backed up, he's ready to take a load. Scrap life. So here's what we got going. I just placed this on here. And I'm gonna screw the bolts on. Couple pieces of scrap life right here. All right, out on the prowl here, hitting the street scrap lifestyle. Finding a few things here. Nothing substantial yet, but I just got out and started hitting the trash day area. 
around in Margate and I found just that one piece so far but we just started and we're looking to find some good shit so let's see what we got boys scrap life tiny little bit here all right so we're bringing the welder to the welding genie himself Ali and he's gonna test it out because we don't even know if it works at this point. So we're figuring this out, boys. Are you the welding genie around here? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Is that the claim? <laughs> the wizard. This guy's got some epic bucket trucks and all kinds of scrap. In the back of there? Yep. Good stuff, right? What are you working on? Well, we uh, modified this junky ass bumper. Hitch. That's custom. <laughs> it should work now. <laughs> It'll last. Pete's taking the bolts out of it. It's welded on. What's the claim here? Well, it's on. It's running. That's a good sign. <laughs> I, I think this machine uh, lived through Sandy. I don't know why all its parts are missing. You see it's a kind of rusty. rusty yeah. A little bit fucked up. But uh, we have the uh, brother sister machines going to donate some parts today. To test it out, right? But yeah, yeah I got well, it. We're going to steal the lead off of this machine. And uh, the ground, and put it on here, and hopefully we'll have two running machines. I got this one mainly for parts. What are those but, uh, glasses for? Huh? Those glasses? Are they welding glasses? This sparks out of my eyes. It's better with a tank. Because I had someone had given me a tank. I can show you it. An Argon tank? Yeah, it's empty though right now. Yeah. We need some more wire. Oh, oh the, this is this is just uh, one of my my offspring. This one of my babies. <laughs> <laughs> what this little area? Oh well, no, just the truck. It's a honey hole in here. Uh, yeah. Do you ever sleep in there? In this area? I, I've taken naps in this box. No, you're lying. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> what is what is that? An air compressor? Huh? That's an air compressor? Yeah. It stops after a point. Is it getting into the line? It's a keeper. <laughs> That's, this is number, yeah, this is that's number, number one, one copper. So what do you what do you think's there? Like a pound, two pounds? In this whole truck, probably like no, 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 no. sixty it, pounds. Strips. strips. Like that, right there? That's probably. I don't know. It's probably like four pounds altogether, maybe. Nah. One. Two pounds. So, so you like got like five bucks. And that what did you have? <laughs> an hour, an hour. You, you could never that? strip $2 all $2 that. An hour? Yeah. Unless you were doing it for fun, like I was. Right. But people online get pissed at me for not stripping copper. Yeah. But these are kind of worth because they're fucking aluminum. Well, you see what I did? I started cutting up this transformer. That's good as is, though. Like this? Yeah. I mean, it's but I, I had a big one from the amusement park that I cut up, and it had like big, like, like half inch by quarter inch bars that were around. Which is worth cutting up at that point. There's like three hundred dollars worth of copper in that one. 
What is it? What are these things? That's yeah, not yeah. copper, is it? Yeah. These? Yeah. So you could take that off. So like those, to me, those are worth. I wouldn't necessarily spend time stripping it unless I had a case of beer. But I mean, these legs are good enough to actually wire it. Yeah, you could use that piece. Uh, you, you, like, you, you, like I like I have files like this in the house. You know, to go from outlet to outlet. I mean, there's enough to wire a shop or you know a room. You could, you could for sure. This is another one of my rat's nests. My another mobile shop. I've got a van parked like roughly every quarter mile full of stuff so I get whenever I need something I can go and grab it. So I've got you know pretty pretty good paint shop set up in here. Why do you have that chandelier? Uh, well you know it was too too useful not to have. This is useful to you? This HP fucking uh, that, uh, that's probably junk. That's scrap. That's not even scrap. That's just straight up trash. Yeah. <laughs> but, but most of it's not. You use this tail when you go swimming? I do. To dry off with? Yeah, I do. Have you? Yeah. He's gnarly with it. Get this out of here. Man. You want that out of there? What is that scrap? No, this is a bender. What does it do? Uh, it bends. Oh, shit. Eventually, yeah. There's pieces falling off it though, Daddy. Yeah, that's right. You want to take it out of there? Yeah. And then we'll have room for the welder. Alright. Is this the bender from Futurama? Yeah, the, the, this is like you know, Bender's great great grandfather. Possible. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in reality, right? Yeah. It, it totally is reality. That's <laughs> uh, him right there, man. This is the the original Bender. It, it is. Hosfeld. Is that what it's called? The, that Bender is called a Hosfeld. And, and they're actually sought after. Like you can go on eBay you and in good shape, that? like these go for like twelve hundred bucks. Wow. With all the dies. Is that the official labor? label? Well, this is the official label. Right? We got an official manual for it. <laughs> okay, that's the video uh, for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. It's a bit short, but that's all the stuff I did today for the scrap life and got the welder fixed up. But there's parts that need to be bought, so I'm just leaving that welder with him. And I. I'm thinking about just buying a brand new whole welder and everything and I'm probably gonna do it because I just want something that I can use and I don't want to have to deal with it and worry about it so he did get it working and it does work but the gun is like a hundred and something dollars to buy and the other parts plus 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 so I might as well just go and just get the whole setup but um yeah if you liked what you saw please subscribe to my youtube video and leave me some comments of any suggestions if you know of any cool stuff or any cool scrap videos that you have in mind and you want me to do them just say it and also if you like this video just hit that thumbs up button please for the scrap life boys you